my Red Dead Redemption. And yeah. And yeah, shout out, Cam. So we're gonna put Red Dead Redemption 2 for the PS4, and we we're starting a new game. I've already played this game before. And yeah, let's get started. Kevin, be quiet. Be quiet, Kevin. Stop! I'm gonna ruin your. I'm not gonna record it if we do that. Yeah. Alright, shh. I, I would read that out loud, but I can't read it. It's in cursive. America was becoming a land of. I must say greed. Even the West had. Mostly been tamed. Actually, I think that was calm earlier, but whatever. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Rockstar Games presents. Dead Redemption 2. Oh. Whoa. This game is amazing. I want to beat it again. Because this game is so fun. Shh. Wait a minute. Alright, make sure I have um, subtitles on. Sorry about that. Stop right now. I don't know what you're sorry about. I don't know what you're sorry about. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. <sighs> if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Man, it ain't far. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh. While the screen is loading, this game is amazing, and I want to play it again. Oh, well, we already did it. Alright. Kevin, be quiet. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Chapter 1, Culture. Okay, I'm not kidding, Kevin. Be quiet. Yeah. Quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, 
see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Michael scouting out ahead. Darcy and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I would. I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh. All right. Oof. I miss. Oof. <laughs> I was in that pain engine. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. Goddamn weather! In two days or more like this now, well, oh, it has to blow over soon. Is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen, 
Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? I didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, oh, you don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. In front of you. Okay, go. Alright. Come on, Micah. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of... Lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Michael, you suck. Camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before. We got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So. This house. You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. Okay. No, you're not. Keep it down yeah, now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Oh, uh, uh. Oof. Jerk. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon. Oh, wait. Okay. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, what? <laughs> Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. <laughs> I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Keep your eyes on Dutch. I think you should go now, but. Sick lap. Oh, shoot. I'm not used to these bad guns.
for the blood, it's in the snow. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essential. Oh, yeah, Medicine. Oh, yeah. Strange oh yeah. Right. Okay. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Sure, later I'll do that in a second. Let me get my food to eat. No, me, no, oh, me. Ice is dry, warm. Mama. We can maybe move the women and Mama. Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they all get back. Sure. I don't really want to. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Split up. Sorry. Split up. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to start packing the horses. Oh. You keep looking. Oh, shit. I didn't check up I didn't check up here a lot the first time I could play this game. For stuff. Arthur, oh. go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah? Oh, there's no trail. Sure. Should be in here. There's a couple snow trails. I knew that was a chop for some of the game. to rob some train gonna blow the tracks beat him up right there well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done don't leave any other schools lying around Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing! She's 
one of them or Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss. Miss. Are you crazy? Fuck you, fool. Michael. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss. Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... <laughs> miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. He ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... he was my husband. and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get you stuck. And also, that's racist. <laughs> Even that one. You know what? I might. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. Look for me. Thank you. 
This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. I got a shimmy right there. All we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Alright, I'm gonna end the stream right here. I will be starting it again though because I just wanted to um make sure. I, I, it saves, but I want to make sure it, it auto saves in the right one. So, I'll be back. But right now, goodbye.